Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal Mr. Butter coming back at you. And today I want to get into a pair of kicks that as soon as I saw pictures of these, I really, really like them. I've been kind of feeling the retro runner vibe here lately with shoes like the 2002R. I've done a couple of reviews of a Response CL and this shoe really reminds me of those two silhouettes. I really like the colors on these and I thought it was pretty interesting that the inspiration for this pair was Groundhog's Day. I ordered these off of the Confirmed app for 120 bucks. They're still sitting in all sizes and they're also available at a handful of retailers as well. So I want to give you a good look at them and maybe you'll want to grab a pair too. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Adidas Supernova Cushion 7s. Alright, so I always say I like a unique box. This one's pretty cool. Not only do the colors match, but it's also got this angry looking groundhog. You can see here's its eyes and its mouth with its teeth. The first time I saw that, I didn't... I couldn't read what it was really. I thought it looked like blackbirds or something around a tree or I couldn't tell what it was but it's just the groundhog's face angry on that side down on this corner he's kind of smiling looks a little bit happier and we'll see that theme more with the shoes as well it's got the three stripes going down the middle and this is a slide out drawer style box the tag reads supernova cushion seven and the colors are some sort of brown, a white, and a sesame. So I'm not really sure what all those colors are, but it's got a lot of earth tones, a lot of this tan and brown color. And here they are, the Supernova Cushion 7. And apparently the Adidas Supernova came out in the early 2000s, I believe. But with this Supernova Cushion 7, they've basically taken the silhouette and they've packed a whole bunch more tech into it. So while it looks like one of those early 2000 retro runners, it's very modern whenever it comes to the technology that it has inside of it. What caught my eye, aside from the silhouette and that retro runner type style, is just the colors, the mix of materials. Honestly, I didn't realize that there was any type of theme to these initially, but if you look at these, they're, they're uniform, they're the same from shoe to shoe, aside from the back. Up here by the collar on this shoe, it's tan. And on this shoe, up by the collar, is brown. But then, if you look at these little panels here on the heel, on this one, you've got a brown, happy groundhog. And on this heel, you've got a tan, angry groundhog. The base of the upper is primarily a really breathable mesh. And then it's got all these really nice... Uh, suede's and I think there's suede and nubuck on that as well along with some synthetic materials but they definitely have a premium type look to them in my book and the the materials feel really nice too real quick before we get into the full review of these so this one is the supernova cushion 7 at first when I saw images I thought it was one of these I thought it was a response CL but you can tell I really love these shoes. I've had a couple of pairs of these. And you can just see how they, they look similar to each other. It's the same type of style in my book. But this is the Response CL. And then I haven't done a review of this shoe yet. But this is a 2002R. This is the Black Fig colorway and this is part of the suede pack so i still need to shoot this review but 
this shoe just kind of gave me the same type of feeling, you know, the same type of style as what these 2002 R's did. And I love these shoes. So since they look the same to me, you know, the same type of style, and I really like these colors, I, I knew without a doubt that I was going to try to grab a pair of these. And like I said on the intro, they are sitting across the board for 120 bucks. So if you've got any interest in these or you like an affordable retro runner shoe in a real dope looking colorway, I highly recommend checking these out. But on to the review, I really like the tread pattern of these. It reminds me a lot of the Response CL and the 2002 R that I just showed you. It shows that it's got the torsion system there in the midfoot, which just creates stability and support there. Um, it says that it's got some adiprene cushioning there in the heel. In the forefoot, it's got adiprene plus. But I love these colors. I like this kind of lemon lime, kind of neon fluorescent yellow, and then green and blue, along with the black and the cream color. I just think that's a dope looking outsole, and it really looks like you're going to get great traction out of it. And coming up, you can see again that it spells out adiprene there at the heel. It says that it's got four motion which I believe is the shock absorption there in the heel. Here in the front, you can see that it says Adiprene Plus, which is a different type of cushioning. And then as you look on the inside, it says Adiprene Plus. But I love the colors and just all the different lines on the midsole. I think it's pretty cool looking. Coming up to the front of the shoe, on this mug guard, this feels like it's a really, really nice new buck or a suede. And I don't know if you can see this movement on camera or not, because it's always hard to get just the right angle. But this material feels really, really high end. And you've got some areas of that on the front and then on the back as well. But then just behind that, you've got some suede, and it's also a very, very nice feeling, very soft material. And it's in the same color, but this has a little bit more hair on it. But I just like that difference in texture. It's on top of this greenish gray colored mesh which feels very breathable. You can't see any light through it, but I think it's because there's multiple layers of it, but it does feel extremely breathable. The stripes are very unique looking. They kind of look pretty, you know, futuristic, but it's not natural materials. It's synthetic materials, but again, it's just a cool another switch up of the texture and the materials used. The tongue is primarily that mesh as well. And at the top, we've got some Supernova and Adidas branding. And that's in like a, that's like on gray leather. I like the blue lace loop on the tongue, just a little pop of color. And I also like how up on the shoe, it says Supernova Cushion 7 here. And then like the Adiprene and Adiprene Plus. I like those little hits in neon green. And along with that, they also gave us some neon green laces. And they're like SB dunk style laces. They're like the thick rope laces. But I think that would be a cool way to change the shoe up as well. But it matches those little accents on the shoe. On the one that he's mad, it's got him seeing his shadow down on the insole and on the one that he's happy it's got him not seeing his shadow down on the insole i don't know if you can see that or not but i think that's a pretty neat little touch